everyone. I'm Liz Brown Swanson and welcome to Around the Peninsula. Today I'm at the beautiful Terranea Resort and I'm at Marcel, the resort's signature restaurant. Coming up here on September 30th, there will be an incredible fundraising event all to benefit the Palos Verdes Peninsula Land Conservancy. And what will happen here is very special as the executive chef is going to create a unique garden to table dining experience like no other. joined by three lovely ladies who are the tri-chairs of this fabulous event coming up. They're going to tell us all about it and then some. I'd like to introduce, for starters, we have Susan McKenna, we have Sharon Ryan and Lynn Swank. Fabulous job you guys, girls are doing. We'll start with you, Susan. Talk about the whole concept of this pastoral event that's coming up. Well, I think the initial spark was our ability at the Conservancy to take people through these spectacular open natural space landscapes. That was how we first envisaged the event, that we would bring our supporters into this landscape. Um, it grew from there, and particularly when we teamed with Terranea. I mean, what an inspiration. I have to say it'll be hard to move on from Terranea. We'd originally envisaged being in some of the landscapes, like the, the beach, the open space. Incredible setting for all this, incredible food, but incredible work to put it together. I'm gonna have you talk a little bit about just the effort to make this happen, especially in terms of putting it together with sponsors. Well, you know, it's interesting because we couldn't be, we couldn't do this without the sponsors. Without sponsors, uh, this would not be an event. It really, if it hadn't been for the people who committed to make it happen, and those people are Terranea, obviously. They are outstanding sponsors. Whole Foods, Gabe at Whole Foods, just came in wholeheartedly. The chef, of course, Critical. In fact, it was interesting because he hasn't done functions for 200 people here, and he thought 60 would be a good number, but Terry thought 200 was good. So at any rate, we're having an event for 200 people. Um, and Malaga Bank, outstanding. You know, they do everything in the community. They're so involved in, whether it's in Torrance, whether it's in Palos Verdes or San Pedro, where they all have branches. Uh, they were the first person, really the first sponsor to come on. And they did so with so much enthusiasm and we're just so delighted that they're supporting this. It basically was just a concept. I walked into Randy's office and Randy, who is the CEO, and told him about the project and he just got so excited about it. He just thought that it was really going to be an excellent community event and one that Malaga Bank would like to support. Again, I can't thank Whole Foods enough because they were so critical in providing all of the produce, all of the meat, basically all of the food that we needed for this event. And I'd like to mention the wines. We haven't talked about the wines yet and they are excellent. We have really wonderful boutique local wineries that are providing the wines for the evening. So it's really almost a flight of wines as well. For each of the courses, there's going to be a very special wine and in many cases by different producers. So I think it's going to be an outstanding experience. It's never been done before. It was just a spark of an idea that has just blossomed and we're just thrilled that we've come this far. Right. You've got an outstanding night ahead, an outstanding team with you ladies. Lynn, you do a lot for the community. Just talk a little bit about just the cause. It's all to benefit the Palos Verdes Peninsula Land Conservancy, why you're so involved, and just a little bit about the relationship they have with the community and the city of Rancho Palos Verdes. Well, sure. I, the Conservancy's success really has been um, due to the community partnership that, that the organization has had with not only the residents, the people of the community, but the governmental agencies, the sponsors, businesses, everybody involved in all four cities as well. We have you know, Rancho Palos Verdes, Rolling Hills Estates, Rolling Hills and Palos Verdes Estates. And you know, we would not be successful without everybody joining for, you know, for, together to accomplish the what we've done in terms of acquiring the open space and now preserving the open space. And so I'm really proud to be part of this organization and this event. I think it's really exciting. Now being joined by the executive chef and general manager of Marcel here at Terranea. Great to be with you gentlemen. A lot of excitement coming up with this pastoral event that will be taking place here September 30th. You're cooking everything that evening. Talk about what you have in store. Well, it's. Um the menu was inspired by a menu that we did at the James Beard House, Neil and I. 
uh, a couple of, couple of years back. So it's nice to be able to come home to our, our hometown and be able to be able to do that and, and, and hook up with some of the local growers and producers to be able to offer that food, you know, really farm to table. Right, and they're saying farm to table. This is the first ever farm to table event taking place here as a fundraiser. Talk about the excitement for you as um, you're in charge of it all that night. Yeah, no, it is. <laughs> it is very exciting for us to do a, a farm to table event here, an event that you know is such a great cause for the local community, and also a, a large event that we've never done before on uh, in Marcel. So we're very excited about it. And, and can you give us a little sneak preview, uh, sort of a taste ahead that's coming up? It's a James Beard inspired menu. So what kinds of things are we going to see? Well, we uh, it'll be a little bit a little bit different than we did that night because now we're actually here, like I said, in our home city. So a lot of it depends on what the a lot of the the farmers, the growers, the producers have actually stepped up and donated a lot of their product uh, and time to to help us out with this dinner. So a lot of it kind of depends on what they come out with and what's in season at that time. You'll see a lot of uh, heirloom tomatoes and. Uh, fresh greens. We're doing a, a Spanish-inspired octopus dish. You have to come and get a ticket and see what's going to be on the table. It's going to be beautiful. We know that. Um, you hear of here uh, your own garden, isn't that right? That you have your you you keep a garden growing here at the restaurant to uh, make it as fresh as possible. We do. We do. We utilize a lot of produce out of it. We use a lot of fresh herbs, both in the kitchen and in the bar, for especially cocktails. And talk about some of the new and exciting things happening here while we have you here, away from the kitchen a little bit. I mean, everything that comes out of here is fabulous. Right. Well, of course, yeah, everything is fabulous. <laughs> but what we're doing mostly uh, new and exciting for us is that we're sharing that, everything that comes out of here with, uh, with the local people in the community. We just started doing local cooking classes. Um, where last week we did a class where we butchered a, butchered a lamb, showed people how to butcher, how to prepare uh, lamb. So that's a lot of fun for us to get people in the community, into the restaurant, and kind of see what we're doing behind the scenes. And uh, being Greek, we eat a lot of lamb, so that sounds awesome. Yeah. I missed that class. Um, for, for the viewers out there watching and getting excited about coming, uh, describe to sort of the experience when you come into here, what you want them to, to experience. Well, mostly just to uh, have a relaxing experience, which our locale certainly uh, helps people to relax. Uh, great food. You know, our Michael's food is really great ingredients, very simply prepared, elegantly served. Oh. I'm now here standing oceanside with the executive director of the Palace Verdes Peninsula Land Conservancy, Andrea Vona. What a beautiful day. It's an amazing <laughs> summer day. It's gorgeous out here. And what a place to have your um, exciting fundraising event on September 30th. Um, you've partnered with Terranea. You've partnered with Terranea in lots of ways in terms of the habitat here. Just talk about that. Oh, our partnership with Terranea has been so longstanding um, in the early phases of their project. we uh, It's such a mindfully situated and beautiful um, beautiful resource for the community here um, even down to some of the native plants that are behind me we've um, grew those in our nursery we have outings here um, as well and giving walks along the trails and so it's been a wonderful partnership and we're so thrilled to be um, in creative collaboration with them on this really neat community event. And it should be an amazing event. There's only a couple hundred tickets that are being sold and they're going fast. What do you expect that evening will be like? What are you most excited about? I'm excited about bringing our community together, about wonderful conversation, wonderful wine, amazing food, and the opportunity to celebrate our open space in this under a rising full moon at this amazing location. So it's going to be an indoor and outdoor and, and just all brought together. And I think that it's going to be a remarkable evening.